Rob, we're hearing you all after, I suppose, three mental days from Munster Rugby. Can you just tell us what's gone on the last few days for the squad and the management and, I suppose, the community as a whole? Yeah, well, it's you know it's an opportunity for, for the Munster boys to get out and amongst the community and, and be really interacting with the wider Munster family. And, uh, you know, the guys have been spread to all uh, areas of Munster and worked their way through to Yule. And uh, it's been a very collaborative um, process with the, the community rugby guys uh, doing a magnificent job uh, with the logistics and the planning and uh, and also our own staff uh, within the professional branch have been uh, just terrific Noel um, and uh, and the lads have, have done a great job of pulling this together and then the people of Yule culminating in a great uh, evening last night dinner with this with the uh, the people of Yule and the players and so forth in today um, having a really community community-based feel out in the out in a place like this is just wonderful. And I suppose something like this didn't just happen overnight, so when did the planning start, or how did the idea come about in the first place? Well, it's a bit of a take on a TV programme, and, uh, you know, we've just added our own flavour. Um, you know, there's been lots of ideas from lots of people over the last couple of months pulling it together, and uh, and then the community, which really made it, you know, the, the tweets and so forth that have been coming through and the messages. Um, it's, it's, it's really been a... Um, you know, at, at a time when uh, you know the, we needed to reconnect with the community, it just really vindicated our decision to go back to the community, and they've been wonderful, supportive, passionate, and uh, just a real credit to the whole Munster region. You've been talking about that fantastic response. The lads obviously really responded to it well, and they had some crack doing it, obviously as well. Yeah, well, that was part of it. You know, for them to have some fun, and also, as I said, connecting with the community and. Uh, the boys have had a ball. Uh, they can't speak highly enough of all the all the little towns and and the bigger towns that they've been through and the interaction that they've had with the public. And they've just said they've met some wonderful people, some people that they probably would never have met and made some connections. So hopefully, uh, you know, those people feel um, you know feel part of the part of the lads when they go out and represent the province in red. You know, they they feel as though they've got a little bit of an ownership there to some of the people that they've met over the last few days and. We hope to grow and continue that relationship. It's something that, uh, you know, if we can really strengthen those bonds, gives everyone more meaning.